Hey, Laurie here. Today I am doing a collab with the lovely Nona from My So Called Life. I, I was just watching, I was watching Debbie's channel and she was saying she always gets my real life, California life, Sandra's channel and Nona's channel, My So Called Life mixed up and I do exactly the same thing. I always have to stop and think about it, but Nona from my so-called life, 77, I think, 1977. And with the gorgeous Angie from 4F Beauty. Obviously my brain's not working very well this morning. <laughs> Can't think of names. Um, and this is part of our ColourPop series using the Nine Pan palettes. And today we are using the My Pleasure palette and this was at the request of Angie and first of all she said let's do all the mattes and I said well unless you count this matte with a tiny bit of glitter there's only three mattes in this palette so then she said let's do all the shimmers so we're not going to count this one as a shimmer we're going to count this one as a matte so there are five shimmers in this one so we're we going to do a purple look it's going to be like a purple pinky and slightly browny look because Mr. Sandman is not really purple. It's, that's, see, that's, that's not purple. Look, ignore that bit there because that's something else. <laughs> so we've got Mr. Sandman, do or do. I think um, it's a good one to play with at the moment with the new Colourpop purple palette coming out. Was it called? I'll have to look it up. Lilac, you a lot. So I think the purple one is a good one to be playing with at the moment. Because you can see if you think you need it or not. Apparently the lilac, I've already forgotten what it's called. Anyway, the lilac palette. <laughs> Apparently that one is... Um, I think I've swatched the same one twice. Hang on. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to talk and do stuff at the same time. So those are the colours that we are working with. I haven't played with this palette a lot, so I'm really happy to be working with it again. And as I said, it's I think it's a good idea to have a play with this and then compare it to what I'm seeing online with the, the lilac. So whatever they called it. I have some more tea, maybe my brain will start working better. So, um, I'm quite intrigued by that one because it's supposed to have lots of duochromes in it and I don't have hardly any duochromes in my collection. So I am kind of thinking about it. And also because I have, I'm just rambling, sorry. <laughs> also because I have, um, I have the electric violet from Rimmel and I used it the other day and it felt like it was drying out and it wasn't working as well. So I haven't got as many purples as I used to have, but I think I'd have to go through the rest of my collection and just see what else I've got before I make a decision. So this is what we are working with. And what do I want to do? And my nose is really itchy, so if I'm going like this, I'm not trying to be a rabbit or Samantha from Bewitched. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this colour here, which was this one. These, these two here you think would be much more purple, like this one is really purple, but this one here you think would be more purple, but it's actually quite pink. <laughs> it's a tricky one, that one. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with fluffy brush, and it's Sunday today, so I will be washing my brushes after this, so I'll have nice clean brushes for the rest of the week. So, it's a very unusual colour, this one, because it's kind of got a warm brownie pink undertone, but then it flashes kind of purple. Does that show up on camera? It's just showing up in my mirror, but I can't tell whether you can see it on camera or not. But it's really pretty. I was watching 
I'm trying to think of a name, so of course I can't remember any names this morning. Christopher, what is your last name? What's your channel name, Christopher? I watched quite a few this morning, so yeah. Yeah, Christopher J M U A. It was the J I couldn't remember. I was watching Christopher J M U A this morning, and he was doing classy cake cosmetic stuff. Sandra's um, stuff from my California, my real California life. And he was saying because Sandra's all as shimmers, and he was saying how he um, he doesn't do shimmers all over normally because. Um, that's not how he was trained, and it goes against the grain for him. I um, I grew up doing my makeup in the eighties, and that, and we used to do shimmers everywhere all the time. So I don't have a problem with shimmers everywhere. <laughs> and I think you can buff them out. I mean, what he was saying with the way they catch the light and reflect is to bring a colour forward, and and you use the matte darker shades to recess things so you get that play on light and dark and and so you can shape your eyes and things it's all very valid but i don't um actually have a problem using shimmers if i want to in my crease and then i'm going to go in with this dual dough color same brush i think mm, that brush might be a bit big actually i mean Switch brushes, this is now a Insta Pop Crease brush from Real Techniques and this was the Shadow and Concealer brush from Models Prefer. How do you use that as a concealer brush? I don't know, I, li I like it for getting in my crease and fluffing things out. And that's like <laughs> so I'm going to build that up and then I'm going to build that up here so I can get a graduation of that pinky purple colour. This is so pretty. I have heard when this palette first came out, I didn't buy it when it first came out, so I haven't actually had it that long. And I did hear when people were talking about it. You know, like the pink one came out. Whatever it's called. Oh, la la or something. I can't remember. But when the pink one, because I don't have the pink one, <laughs> when the pink one came out, people were saying the purple one was a better quality than the pink one they felt. Since then I have heard other people say they like the pink one better, so I think it's personal preference. And I think I'm going to go in with this one, bare minimum, just on the outer here. Now I don't know whether Angie was thinking we had to use every colour in here, um, every shimmer, because um, I didn't ask. <laughs> I'm just going to challenge myself to use every shimmer. She may have worded it like that. Hang on, let me look. She's just gone only allowed shimmers, so she hasn't said she wants to make sure we do all the shimmers in the palette, but I'm just going to do that anyway. There might be a bit of editing in this one, don't you? <laughs> Since apparently I'm in a very weird, chatty mood. <laughs> and I'm going to go into Chiclet, which is the dark purple one. Kind of interesting. Because when I look at this, I see lots of purple. But if you just use the shimmers, this is the only one, to me, that is really, really purple. Because, as I said, that one there, that looks purple in the pan, and it actually isn't as purple on the eye. It's more like a red purple than a blue purple. Which is why I was thinking, no, I don't need anything else because the Electric Violet palette is very kind of blue purple. I'll show you. Just, just wait as heck. So the Electric Violet palette is very blue purple. There's some swatches from the Electric Violet palette. But they're feeling really dry. 
I was using a couple of the darker colours the other day and I was having trouble getting them on my eyes. So, get back to the job in hand. And, hmm, I think I'm going to go into Mr. Sandman. Look, I'm so shimmery. And then in between the two, what colour do I want to put in between the two? It's, it's no good me looking here because I can't see myself. <laughs> you can see me there. I have to look in the mirror. Um, I think I will go in with Do or Do, although it feels quite light. Yeah, it's a bit too light. Maybe I add a little bit of bare minimum. Is that because that one's like the bare minimum of purple? Because <laughs> it's almost a pink. Oops, put that in the wrong colour. So we're getting a graduation there. And then I want to go in with an eyeliner. I don't know how well this will go because I'm not very good at doing wings with um, pencil. I may have to have a bit of a change of tact here. I, I want a purple liner, which you can't hardly see because it's nearly the same colour as the shade. And then I want to go over it, I think, with that dark chocolate colour. A really pretty colour, that chocolate colour. I really like it. It's not a colour that really looks great on me, but I do like it. Being what they call an autumn, so I'm a warm, muted skin tone. So all those autumn colours that are around at the moment suit me really well, but I've always been quite attracted to purple. So that's <laughs> and this one's doing that smiley thing <laughs> on the eyes. So hopefully, I can clean that up a bit because I haven't done the face yet. Let's see what we can do with it. So, I'm going to go in with my designer brand's brush <laughs> because I like the brush on this one but I'm going to be putting some of this which is the Peacock Foco Law Glitter eyeshadow. It, I threw away all the boxes and it doesn't say what they call it. It's got the name on the bottom and it's got Foco Law, Foco Law on it but it doesn't actually say what they call it, whether it's a glitter eyeshadow or liquid eyeshadow or what. So we're going to see how we go. And I think I want a darker one for the outside of that line. So I could go this one, which is Amethyst Crush, or I could go this one, which is Amethyst. I think I'll go this one, I think. Hang on. Mm, I'm not sure. Is that colour scheme? That's, that's it there. I just swatched it in a really weird place, that's all. <laughs> but that one's too dark. That one's probably a better colour, but it's too dark for what I want. I'm going to try the Amethyst Crush one for the outer corner. You probably can't even tell the difference on camera, but it just gives it, when you turn your head, a slightly different kind of look to it. You'd have to look pretty close to see any difference, to tell you the truth, but I like little subtleties like that. And then I'm going to go in with my black and tight line. 
So I'm going to put on the rest of my face and then come back and finish the eyes. So I'll be back in a minute. So I've got the rest of my face on. And what I used today was my Revlon Blush Palette Blush Queen. And I used this colour here, which these are drying out too. I haven't had them very long. I had to scrape the top off a bit to get it to show up because I couldn't pick it up on the brush otherwise. And I used my Jewelry Light Highlighter from BH Cosmetics that Kelly Weasley sent me in her swap box. So I've got that. This is my highlighter at the moment because I thought that would go well with the purple. And now I'm going to finish off my eyes. So I'm going to get a bit more of this purple pencil. And I want a little smudging brush. And I'm going to go in with this bare minimum colour. I do like this colour. Even if to me it's more of a pinky purple than purple. And I think I need a little tiny brush. And I'm going to go in. Oh, I lost my, lost my swatches. I think I'll go into that colour there, which is Earthshine. This one. And I'm going to put that on the inner bit. I really like that colour. That one reflects a really nice purple, even though it's kind of a more of a pinky base. And then I'm going to go into Mr. Sandman and put that right on the inner corner. And I'm also trying to throw my brush away. Uh, <laughs> I also want to put Mr. Sandman as my brow bone highlight. That was quite dark, wasn't it? <laughs> Made my brow bone go quite dark. When it, when it hits the light, it's shiny, but it's quite dark when it's not in the light. I'm thinking I might go in with some highlighter into this bit because it's just a little bit too dark for me. It's going to be super shiny. <laughs> Let me just buff that out a bit. It's, I, my brow bone highlight is extremely highlighty. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of highlight. In the inner corner too. Am I allowed to use highlight, Andrew? Nikki Raven does, so I'm going to do that too. When she does bingos or anything, she always uses a bit of highlighter if she needs to <laughs> put inner corners and stuff. So, um, to keep my powder brush off the floor, because I threw it on the floor, <laughs> I didn't really, it just, things just jump out of my hand. And then I'm going to spray my face. And I'm going to go back into my highlighter palette. And I'm just going to do an extra little pop of this purple one. This one. What is this one called? Double up. Because I just like a little bit extra. Because I'm just a little bit extra sometimes. and the, that extra pop of highlight so that there isn't a harsh line. That's what we're looking like so far. I think 
when the light doesn't shine on it, you just get a really nice gradient of colour. But when the light shines on it, it, it all goes a bit crazy. <laughs> And so now I will do my mascara. I actually think I want to go in with my purple, purple pose, purple prose mascara from Colourpop to put on my bottom lashes because why not? It's purple. And then I just need to choose my lip colour. That's not where I thought I was going to go with the lip colour, but um, I actually like that with it because it's the undertoner that is very close to what's going on on the top of my lid when the light's not hitting it. So that is the Body Shop Metal Liquid Lip and in Pink Nickel. I'm just dropping everything today. <laughs> and so that is my final look. But I need to go put some earrings on. Oops, and my purple mascara is smudging My little earrings, these are really cute. I don't know whether how well you'll see them on camera. Maybe if I take it out. <laughs> it's like a little tree and a little butterfly. A little bit of grass at the bottom and the tree's got purple flowers all over it. Kind of like a jacaranda tree which we have um, up in not in the town that I live in, but about an hour away. In spring, there's tons of jacaranda trees that all flower, and now I can't put my earring back in. <laughs> that all flower and look beautiful. So please go and check out Nona from My So Called Life and Angie from 4th Beauty, and see what kind of look they did with their purple shimmers. And maybe it might help you make a decision. Can you hear me? Because I haven't got my. I have to put my earrings on. Maybe it'll help you make a decision about whether you should get the the lilac palette if you've already got It's My Pleasure or not. If I do end up getting the lilac one, I will do some comparison swatches and things, but I'm not going to get it in any hurry because I don't get anything in a hurry being in New Zealand because everything takes so long to get to me. <laughs> so... Thank you so much, Angie and Nona, for doing this collab series with me. And I really love playing with all my Colourpop little palettes and coming up with colourful looks and things. And I'm really looking forward to our next one next month. So thanks for watching everyone and see you later. Bye. <laughs>